Hello everybody, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here and let's do some dueling with our trap tricks. We're still hovering in the gold tier. We actually fell down after our slide before. We've climbed back up a little bit, but we're still, um, you know, having some, some difficulty here and there. I think what I'm noticing is that there's just much less margin for error at gold where, you know, you could get away from with flubbing some things in the lower ranks, and that is just not the case anymore. So we're going to have to really up our game. Uh, let's see. They want to add a spell or trap from your hand that is listed on this text. Now, I could play this um, and cancel its effects. So let's just go ahead and infinite imperm that to cancel its effects. I have the card there, so I might as well. Okay, so they have Dark Magic Circle out. You will probably Lightning Storm that particular card. So they got what card? They got this card called Magician Salvation. When this card is activated, you can set one Eternal Soul directly from your deck. Alright, so they're going to do this then. All right, and they're playing a doing all kinds of stuff here. Lightning Storm should kill all their spells, theoretically. And I'll have Torrential Tribute, uh, you know, if that comes into effect. I do want to look, though, at, like, Infinite Imperm, which says... Um, no, this was not set, so this doesn't hit everything in the column. All it does is hit uh, the card itself. So when I play Mantis, I'll get Dionysia so that next turn I'll be able to summon another level 4, I think. Okay. So it's their turn. Alright. Okay, so do they have anything in the graveyard? This, I guess. Uh, so we're going to activate this over here. And we're going to kill um, all the spells. Or try to. Okay, good. They had nothing that they could do there. So I will summon Trap Trick Mantis over here. And I'm going to get this one. We are then going to summon Sarah. Okay, we're going to send this to the graveyard. 
And we're going to put Sarah over here. They're having connection issues. Okay, and we will summon Parallel Exceed. Over here. Yep. Do it again. Nope. Over here. We'll go ahead and pick up... Uh... You know... In all honesty, I could just get Rafflesia, but let's just try to win right here. You know, maybe they don't have a solution for this. It's over. That's the thing, you know, it's like if you can sneak things out with Utopia like that, where it's just like if they, you know, you get Parallel Exceed going with Sarah and you're going second and you can survive, you know, um, you're in a good space. Now, I was lucky because I had Lightning Storm. Like, I don't know what would have happened that game if I didn't have Lightning Storm, uh, but I did. So I lucked out. Okay, so we pretty much have to go first every time we get the chance. See, this is a weird hand, you know? Um, it really is. Like, in a lot of ways, it's good, but there's no traps, you know? And so it's like, it can happen where you just get to a situation where you just have too many traps. Now, if they use Ash right here, then Parallel Exceed will work. Oh, they're going to max C. Um, which, it's okay. I'm going to let them basically do that. There's not really much I can do about that. Uh, so we will get ourselves uh, another one of these. I just have to let them have cards. I wish I didn't, but I do. Now, of course, the the problem is that I'm gonna I have no traps to set, so this might be a loss, like you know, in this spot um, where I just give them a bunch of cards and I can't set any traps. But I think I just have to do this and kind of just pray that my position is enough. And also, a double or nothing is in my hand too, which kind of messes up Utopia. So it's just a really weird hand. And this kind of thing can happen. But, I mean, I have it, and I have... Uh, I'll be able to summon it next turn, you know what I mean? Um, but that's all we got. So we just have to pass.
Okay. Um, let's see. I want to make sure that I stop the game when I can. You know what I mean? Like, I want to be able to target to use Rafflesia when the time comes. I don't know if I have myself set up for that, right? I hope I do. Okay, so they're summoning something. So can I use Rafflesia? Like, when can I do this? Here we go. All right. All right, so I'm going to activate her effect. And we're going to just, just get rid of this. And then... Um, Honestly, I think the best thing to do here is just to flip it over. So what did they activate? They did this thing called Ultimate Creature of Destruction. All right, so yes, we will activate Sarah. Um, what does this say? Target one blue eyes monster you control. That face-up monster is unaffected by card effects. It cannot also be destroyed by battle. Also, any opponent's monster at battles is destroyed at the end of the damage step. Um, does that mean on my turn too? I really don't know. Were they trying to do that in response to that happening? Okay, so they are showing this card. All right, now do I get to use my trap? I guess I don't. Like, I set this trap, but they're doing stuff from their hand. So I'm curious why I'm not getting the opportunity to activate this. Probably because it wasn't set, I guess. So yeah, using Sarah on their turn is not as good. But it's the only way I could have done it. It's just a very, very strange opening hand. It, it, it's not a brick because I had starters, you know what I mean? But the, the issue was that I had uh, no traps. And I had double, you know, double or nothing is just sitting there in my hand. I'm thinking that maybe in 20 minutes I'll get to uh, do something.
I'll tell you what, floodgating that did nothing. Like, flipping that monster over didn't make them even skip a beat. I don't think destroying it would have done anything either, to be honest with you. I, I think that there was no trap I was going to get with Rafflesia right there that was going to prevent this. Okay. Well, here we go. Honestly, I have no idea what would even be useful here, so I'm just getting stuff. Can I come up with enough damage would be the question. Utopia will get me 5,000, and I can come over the top of this, uh, but that doesn't... That doesn't get me a victory, right? Um, oh, you know what, though? You know what I'll do is I can Utopia and then Zeus. or not. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, sure, let's activate her effect. Is there something I can do in response to this? Yeah, I can flip it over. I guess it won't work, but it doesn't matter um, because I it'll trigger Sarah, and then I can get rid of Rafflesia if need be. Is there no way to see how much time your opponent has left? Is that not a known number? Uh, I guess it didn't even trigger... Um, it didn't trigger like I thought. Uh, let's see. So once while face up on the field, when a card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation. Okay. Mm -mm 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 Now, they're going to negate this most probably, right? No, nope, they let me do it. Okay. Well, they're going to um, use this. And so... I think what I'll do instead is just... Uh, Attack through here? No. Oh no! I didn't see that! I should have attacked the other one first. Uh, replay happens. Oh, it gets replay. Continue to attack. Uh, no, but that's going to make it so I can't summon Zeus. And I can't attack at all, actually. Oh boy, I botched it. I botched it. And I can't get Zeus anymore. Okay. Um, I can't win. Ah, ah! I hate that I didn't do that right. But to be honest, I was I was doomed from the very very beginning of that match. Um, the the first hand was just such garbage. It it wasn't a full brick, but it might as well have been. Okay, so we're going second. Gosh, two games in a row, double or nothing in my opening hand, and no traps. Um, yeah, we'll just do this. Man. Brutal. Well, they didn't have anything to do. So that's pretty good. We'll get a trap from Romelio at least. Oof. Still, just drawing all the, the trap tricks, but no traps. Huh. Interesting. Interesting world. They quit. Okay. Well...
That worked out. Maybe that's just Yu-Gi-Oh. Maybe it's just like, you just don't get the right draw and it's over. I don't know how often that happens. I have an Ash going second, which is okay. Um, each player draws a card, then each player discards a card. Do I want to do that? Um, that's fine. I'll, I'll do that. I'll draw a card. Sure. Oh god, that's a good drawing going second card. Um, what do I want to discard? Pot of Prosperity. I don't want you to summon anything. Alright, so they're done. Okay. I think we just play this and kill their monster. Hopefully it's just Max C that they have. Oh, Ash is perfect. Yes, so good to see that. And so one of the best things when they Ash Blossom, you know, because it's like you just don't care. You're just like, okay, well, I'm going to special summon Sarah, and then I have Parallel Exceed, which you're going to wish that you use this on more. Now I do, I, I would like more traps than I have, that's for sure. Unless they have two Ash Blossom, which would be outrageous. They're down to one card, though. We have another starter of Romelio in our hand, um, and we're going to drop a Solemn Judgment. So I think we're... Oh, I can even hit him in the face. Why not? They actually had nothing to do. So they're in really bad shape. Okay, cool. Honestly, I just summon this right here. Yep. Yep. Uh, then we activate her effect. getting him because he's really hard to kill. And then 
we can Zeus if we need to. I don't think we need to Zeus, though. I think we're ahead. What we get, Maxi? Now ah, we got a monster. They play the monster in defense position. That's really good. Oh, I can't use this. Forgot. Alright, we got an easy one. Well, sometimes it works out. Cool. So I, ha I did craft myself... Uh, we need two more wins to get to gold tier 2. I did craft myself a Alamiris. I haven't used it yet, or her yet, but we've got her. And I'm getting into the point where we can start thinking about another deck, perhaps. And I'd love to know, you know, what you guys think about... I'd like to make a deck that's fun and funny. You know, some of you guys have been talking about, like, the... Uh, there's a lot of cool deck ideas going out there. I want to make... It's, I mean, a competitive deck, but, like, a silly deck. Like a, you know, kind of a funny, fun-to-play kind of thing. I don't know, like, what that would would be. The, uh, the appliances deck sounded funny. Some of the other decks seem uh, silly. But... Maybe something that's not meta, but that's fun and, and silly. So any recommendations along those lines would be awesome uh, as I continue to learn the Trap Tricks deck. All right, well, after some of those fun duels, I, uh, I'm going to come back to solo mode a little bit here and just, you know, open up some of these rewards, get myself some more gems, have fun. You know, I'm going to try out Alamiras. I also uh, am still tinkering with my deck, you know. I'm not exactly sure uh, of everything I want. This is a very interesting start, but, you know, this is why I like the deck so much, is that if I get just one Trap Tricks card, even if it's something like this, where, you know, I can't do anything when it comes into play. Because Sarah is a Link 1, you just get her out so easily. And then, you know, the value just comes in. And then if you 
happen to draw, you know, Shade Knight, it's uh, ridiculous. Phantom Knights of the Shade, Brigadine. Yes, I will activate this. Oh, this is so good. Um, now, we could use this to pull out one of these. Yeah, of course we're going to do that, right? Yeah, but this is this interesting thing. Um, oh, no, that's right. She doesn't pull out... I, uh, th this is something I still have to... She only does that when she's normal summoned. I keep thinking she does that also on her special, but this is for a trap. So that's kind of a, a whiff in that respect. But it's okay because um, we can just... We're just going to use her anyway to get Rafflesia. I'm trying to work on my positioning, you know, not stacking anything um, over top to dodge Imperm and anything else we need to dodge. So we've got Set, Imperm, Floodgate, and Solemn Judgment, which is just crazy. Uh, what is this guy going to do? When it's normal summoned, you can send a water monster from your deck to the graveyard. Add one controller from your deck to your hand. So, I'm working on timing, right? And if I don't activate Solemn Judgment and wait, and then if I flip this over, for example, with Floodgate, I'm pretty sure that because this says when, they would get to do this next part before I resolve. So, I wouldn't stop this from happening unless I do something immediately that negates its effects. Right, but I don't need to use Solemn Judgment here because I can use um, Imperm. I think. Let's see. I, I think I can, but I'm not sure. And the answer is no. They, Because of the, the timing. So they got to use that to do the effect, and now I can do something, but it's not going to stop that from happening. My chance was with Solemn Judgment. And that's okay, it's good to learn that, but I don't need to mess with that right now. Um, I am going to use this, though, to flip it. Because we're just going to use Sarah to, to pull out something here. Now we have this in the yard. Um, but what we want to do is uh, probably just get a Romelio. Because what she'll do is she'll pull the trap out for us. Because she'll activate even though there's nothing. And then we can get something like Grave Diggers, which is very strong. And now we should have a lot of stuff to deal with them, but they plop down just a bunch of traps. So that's terrifying. However, um, here we go. So, um, okay. Traps don't really work on us very well, but I'm gonna go to battle phase and I will attack into this with Mermelio and knock it out. And then I will attack right here. And then they're going to try to do this, right? It says, activate this card by declaring a monster type and attribute. Special summon this card as a normal monster um, with 2200 defense with that type and attribute, right? So they're going to try to make a quantum cat. That's a really cool Schrodinger's cat. It's, I love it. Um, but we're going to use this right now because I don't want Sarah to die. I was thinking it would be a trap that would target Sarah. But, no. Okay. Now, from here, I am going to do this. Um, and I am just going to pass. I'm going to keep my board like this. I'm not going to do anything else. All right, they're going to try to do Twin Twisters, which does work. Darn, I didn't get to respond with Rafflesia or anything to that. That's a shame. That's a that's just a shame. 
All right, well, yeah, <laughs> needed my solid judgment for that one, didn't I? All right, fine. Okay. Oh, they got twin twisters again. Ugh, and I don't get to respond with solemn judgment. Was it because it was set and I it, it didn't have time to activate? Well, um, all right, fine. In this case, where they're just drawing double twin twisters and blowing me away, uh, it is time... Okay, you know what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to keep things as they are. Oh, they had one that was stronger than me. They finally found one that was a, a stronger card. Darn. All right, well then, in that case... I kind of want to cry. put out Calaria here and put her over here and just try to replenish my board a little bit um, we'll go to the next round and we will activate her and bring Rafflesia back and Rafflesia will let us protect all of our people and it'll trigger Sarah so we can get a trap and hopefully one of these days you know this will do something for us but they've they've pretty much mowed down all of our traps okay at least they didn't do anything all right so unfortunately we drew double or nothing which is like the worst um, but we have a Mantis, so we can do some fun stuff here. So we'll summon. And we will, yes, give me a monster. And, uh, no, I don't need to do that right now. I'll take this one. Okay. Yes. No. Yep. Set it over here. My last trap. So, hmm. I think if I do this, I'm just going to discard uh, Double or Nothing. And then we're going to return this thing to the deck. And then... I'm going to do this. And this. And put this over here. We won't kill them, but it's going to be very close. If 
bruh. Aww. What a shame. They had some sneaky card. I guess there was no reason to attack with Sarah. I should have just trampled over with Access Talker. I don't know why I did that. When you think about it. Aww. Alright, fine. Yep, that's why we have cards like this. Get out of here. Treeborn frog, no way. And, ooh, it almost kills him. They're at 100. Almost got him. All right, here we go. This should do it. So we'll draw. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna summon this over here. Yep, activate this. See, I was wondering about this. So I can't Utopia... You can't add double or nothing from your yard. So unfortunately, it has to be there. Um, now this says... Um, nah, that doesn't do what we want to do. I think we'll just do this. And just kind of give ourselves some insurance. Got it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Boy, I'll tell you what, they were sneaky. You know what it's time for, then? It's time to go back in time. Haven't played the old Dragon Maids in a while. Let's see what they think about this. All right, so. Here we go. What do we want? We want this. <laughs> yeah, activate her effect. And let's see. So in this sense, uh, we're going to get a Noctivision right away. So... Uh, boy. So we're going to get Noctivision says when your opponent... Right, 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 right. Um, if a dark monster is special summoned to your field... Oh, no, 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 we're not because we didn't special summon, right? So in this case, we need to pick up... We're not going to get an Noctivision, but we can just pick up Changeover like that. <laughs> and then we can just use this and use Noctivision from hand uh, to put out Xiao. send a, a card back, but we don't need to do that. Um, no, no, no. And uh, we will just set downtime over here and end.
Uh, we won't do this right now. So we will special summon um, Kitchen from the Yard. Put it over here in defense. Yeah, we'll do this, and we'll just get... Um, no, we don't want to do that. And we want to get... I'm going to save that for a trap or something. I could just pick up Nurse, but I think it's time to start getting a big dragon out. Uh, I could cancel this. But I'm not going to negate that. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, when this card is summoned, you can add a monster. Um... Alright, I guess we negate that. But it still works, even though we negated it, because it's a win, I guess. Brutal. Nah, it's okay. Alright, so it's battle time. Here. We. Go. Activate the effect of chamber. I uh, don't need to do that right now. Give me this one. Right here, and then Hal should be able to kill that, right? Pop that off, house. Don't worry about that. Bam. Mm. Right. But it would only let me get a level three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do this then and get parlor out. Yeep. Yeep. Send a card to the yard. Send out Lorpar. Alright, they put a trap down. I'm gonna do this uh, on... Oh, it's at their turn end. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's do it. Because they can't they can't do it. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And I will just put um, Parlor back in the hand. Now we don't need to do that. And you can have that back in your hand. Now it's our turn. Here we go. Oh, nice draw. Activate her effect, of course. Alright, we will special summon Nurse. Fantastic. And then well, there's nothing in the yard, I guess. Right, right, right. It's all big stuff. So then we'll go ahead and summon this. Yep. Send Ernest out. How much you got? Eight thousand? I think we got you, buddy. One. Two.
Three. Hi. <laughs> Dragon Bait's so silly. Haven't played it in a while. Fun deck. Definitely works faster sometimes than that uh, Trap Tricks deck, huh? It feels interesting playing it now. I feel like, you know, I've, I've learned more about the game. Uh, so, you know, things come differently as I do it. That's fun. Awesome. Awesome. So now we have cleared uh, Gears of Justice Dispatch, except for playing with the loner deck, but uh, I don't know how necessary that really is. I'm really just, you know, collecting all of the gems from the solo mode. Now, I talked about this, and if I look at my deck here, my Trap Tricks deck, uh, and I edit it, really... The cards we're looking at is like a Forbidden Droplet and an Abyss, um, what is it, the Abyss Walker or something like that? What's that guy called? Uh, Abyss Dweller. Yeah, this guy. And he's in Forgotten City Dwellers. I don't know how to, uh, how to go after that, but... One thing I can do, though, is I have a, uh, at the shop, you know, I have this open, and so I could just do another of these and pull 10, because it's a secret pack, and then we could try to make sure that we get, you know, the cards that we're looking for. So, we got another Rafflesia, right, and we got, um, a... Uh, rescue cat. What is this thing? You can send this card to your graveyard. Special summon two level three or lower beast monsters from your deck, but their effects are negated. Also, they're destroyed during the end phase. You can only use this once per turn. There's probably some real shenanigans you can do with a card like that. I'm interested to know what they are. But anyway, what we can do now is we can go back into uh, our deck. And we just go into this, and we edit, and I'm just going to click on um, Dismantle All Extra Cards, okay? We did that, and then if I go into just, uh, I don't need another, that Rafflesia, so I can get rid of that. For example, which is kind of why I opened that secret pack, so I have three Rafflesias, so I can dismantle one uh, without question because I don't play three of them uh, I don't think you would need three of them really all right so then we have that um, and this is called IP Mascarena uh, during your opponent's main phase you can quick effect immediately after this effect resolves link summon one link monster using materials you control including this card Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't get rid of that. That seems like it could be useful for something. This is called Ready Fusion, and I'm not doing anything that uses this, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, dismantle this so that I can open up, uh, here we go. I can craft myself this guy, and we'll just make one. Terrific. And then, uh, what did you say? A free pool on Forgotten City Dweller is great. Try it. And uh, we got, oh, we got a, a super rare, at least, for free, which is... Uh, Artorgius, King of the Noble Knights. Okay, cool. So that's fun. Anyway, I'm going to go back, back, and I'm going to go into my deck. And from in here, we're going to go to Trap Tricks. We're going to edit it, and I am going to add in the Abyss uh, Dweller into my extra deck. And so we'll close this up. And honestly, 
I feel like I could take out a Rafflesia. I just don't think I need two Rafflesias. I don't think I've ever summoned it twice. And this lets you basically um, wreck somebody who's trying to get things from the graveyard. So I want to mess around with having that and see if it could save me in certain matchups. All right, cool. So now I feel like our extra deck is really, really strong. You know, we're basically running um, access code talker uh, with the you know nightmares uh we have one kalaria three sarahs the link spider zeus alamaris time thief Fridor, the utopia package a rafflesia and an abyss dweller so i like this all right well cool uh save and I feel like, you know, with the exception of maybe messing around with a Forbidden Droplet, that deck is done. So we are going to uh, get to move on maybe and, and try something else, but I have no idea what that would be. Anyway, everyone, I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day, and I'll check you next time. Take care.